Do you remember during the campaign when Joe Biden uh, came forward and said he came down to Georgia and he said, vote for uh, Warnock, $2,000 stimulus check. And everyone was like, woo, yay, we'll vote for Ossoff. We'll vote for Warnock. We'll get our $2,000 stimulus check. But the $2,000 stimulus check, it never came. And it turns out that it's not going to be $2,000. It's going to be $1,400 and maybe not even that much, depending on how much money you make and where you live and all that kind of and what you do for a living. And CNN was out somewhere, somewhere up north. I want to say Minnesota or Michigan. They found some guys ice fishing and they went out. CNN went out on the ice and they found a Democrat who was ice fishing and they asked him about the stimulus and they asked him about the money. And this is what this Democrat uh, being interviewed by CNN said about Joe Biden and his stimulus check. They're putting that stimulus check on the back burner. They're putting the minimum wage hike on the back burner and they're dropping bombs in Syria right now. And those bombs are kind of expensive for a dude who owes me $2,000. There's <laughs> those bought. They're dropping bombs in Syria. And man, those bombs are pricey. And that dude owes me $2,000. Do you hear what he said there? This is very key. I want you to listen to this because he said for, that you can get tell a lot from this. At first, it was funny. We all got to chuckle. Ha, ha, ha. Biden knows me too grand and he's dropping. Just give me one of them bombs. I could sell it for probably more. Uh, but but if you listen to the way he said it, if you listen to the verbiage, first of all, he's like, look, they're putting, they're putting the COVID relief checks on the back burner. They're putting the $15 minimum wage on on the back burner. This guy's dropping bombs in Syria and he owes me $2,000. He owes me. I have that money owed to me. Why? Why would this guy think that Joe Biden owes him $2,000? He promised him $2,000. He promised him COVID relief. But is that owing him? Did this guy do anything in turn for that money? Just being an American during a pandemic, is that what qualifies you to have the government owe you $2,000? This is the big problem with being a Democrat and falling for the lies of Joe Biden and other, other Congress people and, and Democratic senators and, and political candidates who go out there and will tell you whatever it is they need to tell you to guarantee that you vote for them. Then when the rubber needs to hit the road, guess what? There's the road, but there's no rubber on it. When, they, when it comes time to pay the bills, I'm a little short this month. Would you take 1400 for the 2000 that I offered you? Everybody in Georgia remembers they went out and voted for Warnock and Ossoff. Not because they represent the state of Georgia, because they don't. They're placeholder votes. They're guaranteed votes in the Democrat column. If you don't believe that those two guys are going to vote every single way Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer tell them to vote from now for the next six years, then you then you're you're crazy. For I'm just going to call. I'm sorry. I I probably don't know you, but you're just you're you're fooling yourselves. That's exactly what they were put in place for. And everyone in the state of Georgia was owed was owed or promised two thousand dollars. Now Joe Biden. He can't come up with it. And Democrats everywhere are furious because they were owed that money. Republicans, a lot of them, like this guy, it's like, look, I don't even want the money. It's $1.9 trillion that we don't need to spend. Let's get back to work. Let's open up our businesses. Let's open up our restaurants. Let's get the kids back to school so we don't have to stay home and play nursemaid anymore. Let's get the economy chug, chug, chugging along. And then maybe we could all make more than $1,400. Maybe we could get that $2,000. Stop thinking that the government and Joe Biden owes you and go back to work and make the money for yourself. Don't live indebted to the government. Don't live indebted to Joe Biden. But that's exactly what happens because Joe Biden went out and bought votes. He bought votes with the promises of $2,000 stimulus checks. And now he can't deliver. And now people are ticked off.